Welcome to the Nikla 11x12 technology. Today I'd like to compare AMD's R9 Fury X with the Nvidia's GTX Titan X graphics card. A bit on the unrealistic side, but some people don't really know how much of a performance difference there may be or not. The prices of these two GPUs differ like heaven and hell. The Titan X just costs that much more. But can that be worth it? Let's find it out. By the way, for 4K benchmarks, watch my Fury X vs 980 Ti comparison video, the 4K version. The Titan X is tested at 4K there as well. So as you saw yourself, the Titan X does indeed perform better overall compared to AMD's R9 Fury X, but I've tested at 1080p here. Once you play games at high resolutions, such as 4K for example, the Fury X shows its real powers. That's where it can easily be compared with Nvidia's 980 Ti, or in this case even the Titan X. At the time of this video, this clearly once again shows us, 12GB of VRAM are not needed yet in 2015. The Fury X has only 4GB, which is a bit on the low side for that high price point, but right now, we don't really need more than that. 12 gigabytes are insane, and besides, the Titan X still makes use of the standard GDDR5 memory we've seen on GPUs for years now, whereas the Fury X makes use of completely new technology called HBM memory. That memory has fantastic bandwidth and all, but for now, you have to be happy with the 4 gigabyte capacity due to its limitations. The temperatures on the Fury X are much, much lower than on the Titan X, and even runs quieter as well. Just a pump emits a bit of high pitched noise that could annoy some people, but it's not a big deal. The the power consumption is higher with the Fury X, but I wouldn't call these results bad at all. Definitely efficient. Price performance wise, no doubt, the AMD R9 Fury X is the pick over the Titan X. I'm sure you'll agree with me on that one. And that's it. Hopefully you've now seen the performance difference between these two GPUs. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholaslevnix12 to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.